Hi everyone, how's it going? Um, I thought I would do a short little video on some of the dyes that I have because um, I was getting a lot of questions on that bow dye that I used in my um, December daily mini album. Um, I'll just apologize now if I seem a little out of breath as I usually have been lately. Um, I have been sick for like the last four weeks and um, I went to the doctor and they said probably bronchitis or chest infection so finally on antibiotics but apologize if I cough. Um, I'm just going to start off, this was a new dye that I just got, the Susan's Garden by Sizzix. Um, and it has the two pieces, so the window frame and the window box. So as you can see the window box, you can um, pop it up and they just had leaves. Sorry about the glare. It's kind of dark in here so I'm having my light on. They have the leaves and flowers just popping through, so I wanted to make some Christmas cards of that. I haven't got to it yet, but I did punch one out on some of my shiny black paper. So there's the window frame. Um, and here is the window box, so it would just go there and get popped up. And I can use it without, too. So I'm going to try and do something like with a Christmas tree in the background or something like that. So that is that one. Try and put them away so I don't lose them. And then I showed you the bird house. This is the Spellbinders Birdcage 1. And what it is, is two pieces. Um, so that you can use it three ways it says. I don't think, one of the ways I don't think I would use um, this one here is where you would just take this and put it wherever on the page that you want so that you have the inside of the birdcage. That looks okay, I don't know. This one, if you use it by itself, you get the outline of the birdcage with the little top and then if you use them together, so just lay them down like that, you get the full birdcage, which I did punch out in the mercury glass paper, which is my favorite now. Let's see if it'll focus for you. There we go. This is all bumpy too, where, where the other color comes through. And the little door opens. I did not know that when I, when I bought it, so I really like that. So I can have a little bird coming out of it. So that is one gonna be super cute. I like that one. I don't have any birdcage dies yet, so this is this is going to be a good one. Uh, there. <laughs> and then this is the ever popular bow dye. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. It is jillianvancedesigns.com and I think this is supposed to be a dot so www.jillianvancedesigns.com and this is called the three die bow so it's 3D but with an I and basically what it is is this is the bow this is the um, I don't know, what do you want to call them? The ties of the bow. And then you get five different centers. So there's a circle, an octagon, a square, a rectangle, and a heart. So if you want to put a center in your bow, you can. On my uh, mini album, the December Daily, I did not put a center in it. So I was going to try this one with a center. <coughs> so basically you just punch everything out. Um, this time I used double sided paper, last time I did not, so on the last one I punched two of these out and then glued them together so that my paper would be double sided because when this one gets folded you're going to see the inside. So what you do is you take um, a marker or something and you just roll it, sorry didn't mean to snap the camera there. <laughs> so that you can get your curve to it. So basically, you can even to, um, I don't know if you can see this, but run it along the edge of your desk and that's just to pretty much break the binding in the paper. 
but a marker works just as well. And then especially for this one so that you can just get it in the right spot that you want. So then, I'm just going to get my glue gun here. You're just going to glue the one side. Um, the other ones I just use regular glue, but this one so that it'll stick fast. I'm just using um, hot glue. Because all I did with the other ones was I glued it with my tacky glue and then I put a um, clothespin in the center of it to hold it until it dried. So then the second one comes in and there is your little bow. See how that's not... So you can always just do this after too. So there it is and then you're just going to put a little bit of glue in the center and glue it down onto your I don't know what they're called. What are they called? Tails? The tails of the bow? And it is so cute. Alright, so I'm going to go with this. I haven't done this before. I actually pulled out a, um, a big rhinestone, rhinestone. <laughs> rhinestone <laughs> from my stash. Uh, this is just from the bucket from um, Hobby Lobby. They're my favorite. And I'm just going to stick it in the center there. I don't know if you can hear the cat purring. Here's Cheesecake. Say hi, Cheesecake. Hi. <laughs> oh, no, that doesn't mean come pet me. No, 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 no. Go. <laughs> See, one little invite, one little hello, and she's there. She's so bad. All right. Don't worry guys, if I've been more sending you crafts, I try and decat for everything before it leaves the house. She's really not that bad for cat fur. But uh, sometimes it's hard for it not to get in there. So there we go, I used the circle for the center and put a rhinestone on it. And normally I would ink up the edges too. I kinda, I'm sure I can do that after on this one, but and see how the double sided paper, if you're going to have it on a card and you're going to be looking at it, it's just so cute. And I'm sure you could um, punch this out, punch this out, die, cut it out of fabric, tool, pretty much anything. And I'm sorry, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I think it was a show special that I had gotten. Um, I think it was something like if you bought two dies and you got a free stamp set or something because I bought this one and then I also bought see here's her logo here Jillian designs <laughs> um, actually no here's the email address here so www.ajillianvancedesign.com so there is the email address um, this one was uh, Spellbinders. This one doesn't say Spellbinders on it, but I think it had just gotten released, so that's why it's in this package. So this one I got the zipper device die. So this is what it looks like. It is pretty much a zipper, um, a zipper with a pull on it. And um, here it is here. I punched it out of the paper just to show you. Um, and what we did was we bought the matching um, stamp set to go with it because it comes with the zipper. So you can, um, let's see if I can open this up here. We haven't even used this yet. We bought it last, last April was the last time we went to Mega Meat. So basically you just put this wherever you want it so it does come off the page because you basically like if you want it at the bottom of your card, I did it this way so it does come off a little bit but that's fine because you do it whatever length you want. And then I could stamp the zipper on it 
or you could stamp just the zipper pull and then a word, confidential, or tear me, open at your own risk, or just rip it for your eyes only, a top secret. And then there's a what's inside and a pull here, because in the circle you can put pull here. Because basically, here's what happens. You do this, and you would have um, another piece of paper underneath. And <laughs> that one ripped. That's what happens. So your paper that goes behind, see if I can get a colored paper here for you, is what would peek through after they rip it open. So then you could write a special message underneath there, um, just anything. So we, Madison fell in love with it. She thought it was super cute. <coughs> Excuse me. So we had to buy it. So that is it. Um, take a look at her website. I cannot remember any of the other ones for the life of me. And I'm thinking, I think we paid $30 for all three of these. I think. I cannot quite remember. But I will definitely check her out next time because the, um, this one is definitely super cute. I love it. It's going to be uh, a staple in my craft room. Alright, leave a comment, subscribe if you wish, and have a great day. Thanks, bye.